Unique locations, secret lineups, a one-of-a-kind comedy show right here in Denver. Today in the E-Block, we are learning more about Don't Tell Comedy. We welcome in local producer and comedian BK Sherrod. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Okay, so this is such a cool concept. It happens all across the country, yes. but of course, right here in Denver as well. So for someone who's never heard of this, kind of explain how it all works. So pretty much the way the shows work is you buy a ticket and then the day of the show, they'll send you the address of where the location is. So you don't know where it is. It could be, but it's like neighborhood specific. Mm -hmm. So if it's like in the Baker neighborhood, it'll say Baker, you cool. buy a ticket and then yeah, you show up and it's a surprise for everybody except me pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, you mentioned those secret locations. When do people find out? The day of, morning of. So morning I believe of. it's like around noon. Okay. You'll get an email that'll say, here's where the address is and like details on like if there's like a code or like something like that. And are these locations changing every show? Is it always yes. a different spot? Yep. We, uh, we try to make have as many different venues as we can, but you'll never go to like two shows in a row and it'll be like the same venue. That's really cool. Yeah. What type of comedy can we expect if we go to the show? <laughs> you were saying it can be anywhere from four different performers to seven to ten, so you're getting a variety each time, it sounds like. Yeah, so pretty much the way we do it is we have a lot of diverse lineups, so no matter like who you are, what your background is, you're going to come to a show, find something you relate to and laugh, or you might learn about something new, new people. Um, and then, yeah, the shows typically either have like a headliner, like an opener and a feature host, uh, or we just have like seven comics each doing 10 minutes. Um, but yeah, we book the best comics locally and nationally. We'll bring people in from LA or wherever. And that's really cool. Yeah. So you said pre-pandemic, this is when things got started here in Denver. Then things got shut down, obviously, because the whole draw to this is these secret locations. So yeah. Zooming these <laughs> would not be as cool. But now you're back in action for about the last year. What does totally. it mean for you to have this here on the Denver comedy scene? This is my favorite thing I've ever done in comedy, running Don't Tell. It's one of the best companies you could work for. They're super nice, a lot of good opportunities, and uh, the crowds are amazing. Um, because I feel like the crowds are people who are like, they just want to do something exciting. So it's a different crowd than you normally get. And then they kind of get brought into comedy. And we're also bringing comedy into neighborhoods that like, you know, comedy clubs aren't everywhere. Mm -hmm. So it's like if you live in a specific neighborhood, we're like kind of like bringing a comedy club to you. And we have to mention too, you're not just having these in comedy. You're having, you just mentioned a coffee shop and yeah. they're going to be in like, like we said, unique locations. Yep. Um, do you, you, you said you have a favorite so far. Can you say that? Yeah, uh, there's a place, uh, Lecker Coffee. Uh, that's one of our favorite spots that we use. It's like a very tight, like uh, intimate room. I've had some like the best sets I've ever had there. That's really awesome. Yeah. And you said you'll like host too, or you're obviously producing a lot of the show. Yes. So you're really involved and you're up there on the mic too. Yeah, totally. That's awesome. And uh, yeah, I'm a real comedian. <laughs> a lot of times when you're hosting, people will be like, wow, you're just as funny as the real comedians. And I'm like, thank you. It's only my whole career and my dream. So, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Um, okay, so how do people get tickets and when's the next show? So if you go to DontTellComedy.com, you get all the details there. We have all of our shows. Uh, this Saturday, uh, we have one in Fort Collins. Okay. And we also have one in Denver as well. Wonderful. So people can still get tickets. Yes. And stay tuned to find out where that is going to be. BK, thank you so much for thank joining so much us for this morning. Me.